Hello, my name is Pashupati Nath. I'm the lineage authority of a very ancient school of yoga called Trilok Akhada, which was established by the founder of yoga, Shankar Nath, 17,000 years ago. Make sure you have a pillow to sit on, a meditation cushion or something, any height for you to sit on. You can also sit on a chair, but make sure you use a height to bring your hips above your knee. Sit like this, relax. And now pull your shoulders back. Get your hands out to 180 degrees and drop them down. That's where you keep your hand. Dhyana Mudra. Dhyana Mudra. One hand over the other. Pull your head straight up. Straighten your spine. And start visualizing two sides of your prefrontal cortex. The right side deals with caution. It produces norepinephrine, which helps you to, uh, to restrict your action. Okay, So it stops you from acting out whatever you have planned to act out. Your right side represents the part which holds you back. The left side represents the part which allows you forward. In the prefrontal cortex, we've discovered that this is what is. And guess what? The Nath Yogis knew it 17,000 years ago. They made this meditation where you imagine a new moon on the right side and various phases of the moon until there's a full moon on the left side. Okay, try and do that. You can also imagine that the moon is moving and turning from a new moon, it's turning, its phases are turning. And when it comes to the left side, it's become a full moon. Starts as a new moon on the right and comes all the way to the left, becomes a full moon. Okay, that's what I want you to visualize. And just by visualizing this, it may seem like nothing great, but just by visualizing this with each breath. So, we breathe in and bring our attention here to the new moon and when we breathe out we roll it over and it becomes a full moon and hold your breath. When it becomes a full moon on your left side, hold your breath for a couple of heartbeats and then start breathing in again. When you breathe in again, you just pull all your energy up to the forehead and it's a new moon here and then it dawns into a full moon on this side. So, all you have to do is to adopt the meditation posture like this. Close your eyes. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Bring your attention to the right side of your forehead. Visualize a new moon there, pitch dark. And then as you exhale, long, slow, deep exhalation. Imagine it rolling over and becoming a full moon on your left side. So much bright light. And then hold that for two heartbeats and then relax. And now again, bring your attention to your body and pull all your body's energy up with an inhalation. Bring your attention to the right side of your forehead, which is pitch dark. And then as you exhale, roll a full moon out onto the left side. Changes its phase and it becomes a full moon. Really bright. Bring a smile to your face. And it will improve your mood like crazy. Okay? This is really good if you're feeling sad and depressed. If you've gotten into one of those states of mind which is unproductive, uh, restrictive and negative. This is the best, best meditation to get out of it. So, we'll do this eight more times since we did it twice. Start breathing. Now your attention's in your body. Bring all your attention up to the right part of your forehead. Visualize pitch dark new moon there. And then it rolls across your forehead and turns into a full moon on the left side, bringing a smile to your face. Okay? The smile to your face is really important. And it does. It automatically brings a smile to your face because it's so bright. When your left is bright, you can't stop smiling. 
Okay. Now again, bring your attention to your body and slowly breathe up. All your attention comes to your right side, which is pitch dark. And then, as you breathe out, roll over that moon and let it brighten up the left side of your forehead and let it brighten up your face with a smile. So even your face should turn into a full moon, okay? <laughs> it should become bright like a full moon. All right. So again, breathe in. All the attention to the right side, breathe out. Roll it into a full moon from a new moon. Once again, hold your breath. Enjoy the full moon and then breathe in. Attention to the right side and breathe out slowly, rolling out a full moon from a new moon into the left side. Hold your breath. Smile. Now breathe in again. New moon right side, breathe out. Full moon left side brings a smile, hold two heartbeats, then breathe in again. All the attention to the right side, then breathe out. Roll the new moon into a full moon on the left side, along with a smile that lights up your face. Hold it for two seconds and then breathe in again. Fill energy onto your right side. Wait a couple of... Don't wait, breathe out. Bring it to your left side into a full moon and let the happiness enter you of having a full moon on your left prefrontal cortex so bright. Let a smile come. You can't stop the smile. And then breathe in again. Attention to the right side, it's pitch black and from there roll over the different phases of the moon until it is full on your left side. Full and brings a smile to you. And then breathe in again. Pitch dark on the right side. And then breathe out. Sending the moon rolling into a full moon phase onto the left side and a smile to your face and then breathe in again. Pitch dark moon on the right side. Breathe out. Create a full moon on the left side. Fully bright and beautiful. Just like you. Fill yourself with the beauty of the full moon on the left side. Something has opened up very profound. All the cobwebs will be wiped from your mind with this practice. Extremely bright left side of the moon. You can continue to do this a few more times today and imagine if you did this every day. What would your, when you roll out of bed and if you did this every day, imagine what your mood would be like when you got out of bed. Yeah? Usually people get up grumpy to be awake, grumpy to be alive. That's not a way to live. Whatever you acknowledge, your brain brings you more of the same. It's a mechanism in the brain and it's also a mechanism in the universe. Whatever you see, whatever you seek, you bring in more of the same. Okay? If you watch Game of Thrones all day, you're going to be very sick. Alright? Because it's a lot of violence. That's what it's going to bring to you, into your mind, that the world is an unsafe place. So don't, don't feed your brain with information. It doesn't know the difference between a movie and reality or a novel and reality. Your brain doesn't know the difference. It just takes in all that information and creates more fear. With this meditation you can get out of fear, you can get out of any kind of um, 
negativity which is within you really okay all negativity is within you it takes root within you and that's how you get more and more of it that's how you attract more and more of it you create more of more and more of it you are a creator thank you for watching beautiful people have a beautiful day